Hi guys, as you guys know that uh, I have been into relationships lately and um, I've been through a breakup but what you guys don't know is I went into another relationship and this relationship was also short lived, it was one month and this relationship actually brought up so many things uh, into my mind actually I tried to shot this video two times previously I wrote down a script that these these are the things I should mention and these are the things I should say but I couldn't bring myself to shoot this video so whatever I'm telling you guys is absolutely raw nothing is scripted and I am planning to post it this way because it will be a heart to heart so after having three broken relationships in a span of just two years I realized that it was not always the problem of the other person but also my problem I never wanted to sit down with myself because of the fear that uh, whenever I sit down alone it's like all my fears start coming to me and I go into that negative spiral and all I can think of is how bad of a person I am so what I thought of an escape was if I'm talking to some other person then my then I won't have to sit with myself and in some way I will escape that and I did it I did it for almost two years and after two years after this my last relationship I realized that I am losing so much of myself I desperately wanted to stay with such a person who was completely different from me in not a bad way because it's his way of staying and my way of living is very different our mindsets are different and that doesn't make him a bad person or me a bad person we both were different so what I realized was in that relationship also I wanted to stay with this person so very much that I literally accepted whatever he said and that's not his fault it's my fault because I didn't have that set boundaries or that emotional you know surety in myself that I would come out of the relationship on my own unless that person one day he broke up with me I was devastated so much after that breakup that even after that one month I stayed in contact with this person and I begged him I literally begged this person to take me back in his life so what I realized from this relationship was one fine day I realized that maybe finally it is time for me to take a step for myself I'm a person who has very few friends like a person you can really rely on I have very few of those persons and the person whom I wanted to talk to at that time my very close friend I thought that she would never understand what I was going through so what I thought the best for me would be to take a therapy an online therapy and uh, I wouldn't inform any of my parents and relatives about it and I kept it for that time uh, now I know this can be very difficult for me to say but I was doing these therapy sessions and uh, I knew I needed therapy because I come from a non-functioning family like my parents are separated so 
I knew I wanted a therapy because at the very young age I had to grow up very much. So I knew I needed a therapy at some point of time. But I always thought that I could mend myself, and mending myself for so long, it didn't work. I knew I needed someone, a professional. When I came across this ad on Instagram while I was scrolling, and it was Reboot Healthcare, and this is their phone number. Uh, I'll be mentioning their phone number down below, so you guys can contact them. They are wonderful people, and they'll understand your situation, your needs, and they'll provide guidance accordingly. Hi guys, this is Editing Avandika, and I realized while editing that I talked so much about why I'm taking therapy, but not so much about how it has impacted my life. Well, I'm taking therapy for past one and a half months, and I'm taking bi-weekly sessions. That is, in two weeks, I have one session with the therapist. And overall, I have done three or four classes by far. And my life has changed in such a way that um, it's minimal. Like it's small changes I have seen in my day-to-day -day activities, like. Um, I mentioned that I didn't feel the need to get up off the bed and do my work. Um, but lately, I have started enjoying my day-to-day -day activities and I've started working on myself, like reading books, uh, exercising regularly, uh, doing breath work. These things are making me uh, more, you know, energized and I feel much better waking up every day. And these are the small changes I have noticed for past few days or past few weeks rather. So also reboot healthcare. Um, I have to also reboot healthcare. This is their ad. And I have provided their Instagram, Facebook handles down in the description. If you guys need therapy, you can contact them. They are wonderfully friendly people. They'll talk to you. Uh, they'll cater to your needs. Even they provide student-friendly discounts. And you can tell them that you are a student and uh, they'll provide a much lower price, which is much affordable for you. And anyone can afford it because the prices are so low. They also provide flexible therapy sessions that you can choose according to your preference please contact them if you need any kind of help and please remember that therapy taking therapy is not only for people who are sick even healthy people sometimes need therapy so this is a clip of my therapy session Yeah, we have a bi-weekly session and um, it's just been two sessions now and I think that and also I took a decision of not dating any men for next one year. I want to work on myself. I want to work on all the things that um, I feel I'm guilty for. I'm journaling regularly. I am. I have started doing things that I used to like when I was a kid, and these small things have really, really impacted me because I didn't know how much I was missing them. I started spending time with my family more, and really, sometimes I feel I'm so blessed that I have my mother and my sister by my side. They both are like the most you know, beautiful people. Although sometimes my mother and I get into a fight, but I know that my mother would do anything for me because, you know, my iPhone was actually given to me by my mother. She bought me an iPhone just because she believed in me that I could run this YouTube channel and one day I'll be successful. So, when I realized that thing, I realized this very recently, like it was like she's giving me an iPhone and I'm buying an iPhone. I was so excited about it. I didn't realize that how difficult it was for my mother to 
get me an iPhone and eighty seven thousand I guess eighty seven thousand iPhone for me, just because I wanted to be a content creator, just because I want to experiment with YouTube and my Instagram account. She gave me an iPhone just because she believed it. And how grateful I am for my sister. She is in class nine, and she listens to me rant about a guy. Even midnight, she's almost sleepy, but she listens to me. And I didn't know how big these things were until and unless I decided that I'll make this video. And even my grandparents, they are also like the supporting systems. of me even my uncle and aunt my aunt was the first who pushed me to make this youtube channel it was her idea to start this youtube channel and i can't be more grateful to her for that we hit 1000 last month and we are at 1084 when i'm shooting this so this youtube was great is greatly credited to my aunt and So all the hard work she has put in, my mother who has given me this iPhone to shoot. So I couldn't have done any of this without these people, without my family. And I know how we tend to ignore our family so much. Even if we are having a depression or a phase when we are constantly feeling low. like i had this after my breakup i had this one or two days where i didn't feel the need to just i felt the need that i don't want to get up from my bed and i know this is a very common feeling and most of us have it when we are going through through something like that but often we forget that we have our family who is looking up on to us so if you can if you can't afford a therapy then please talk to your family or journal or go back to your childhood memories like in childhood maybe we used to love dancing and for some reason we think that it is not dancing is something that uh, we shouldn't do as an adult and somehow we have lost touch so i i think we should just go back to those things uh the things which we loved doing once and slowly and steadily we will feel better and if this thing continues for over a long stretch of time i would recommend you guys get help get therapy because these people these people are amazing and they listen to you it will be confidential nobody will get to know and also there is a big taboo around getting therapy i know that i have been through because when i uh, told my mother a few years back that i wanted to do therapy she thought that it was a very bad idea and i didn't have any problem to go to therapy in the first place so yeah there it's a taboo but i feel the more the days are going everyone should take care of their mental health and Yeah, with that note, uh, I hope you guys are doing well. If you guys want to take online therapy, Reboot Healthcare would be one of the greatest option uh, for healthcare, for mental health and wellness. I'll I'll just mention their phone number here on the screen as well as in the description. I know this video was a bit of a ramble kind of thing, but. This channel is all about me making a personal diary of my life, and I think uh, you guys, I owe it to you guys um, about this mental health thing, and I owe it to all of you that whatever I am feeling, whatever I am experiencing, I know there are many people out there who are feeling the same thing, and they don't know what to do. So, if this video reaches you, and if you are someone like me who doesn't have anyone to share their feelings to you can always take a therapy session it's nothing to be ashamed of and i'm always with you guys if you like this video please give the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos i'll see you later bye